As the Army National Guard expanded its number of divisions in the post-World War II era, the 47th Infantry Division was organized in 1946. Its structure incorporated historic guard regiments, battalions, and smaller commands from Minnesota and North Dakota. Some of these units carried battle honors from the Civil War through World War II. The Viking Division was mobilized as part of the Army's expansion during the Korean War. Ordered to active duty on 16 January 1951, the 47th served for more than three years before being released and returned to state control in 1954. Though the division itself never deployed overseas during the conflict, many of its personnel were levied and sent to Korea as replacements for units in the combat zone. For most of the men of the 47th, their journey to Korea started with Camp Rucker. And then from then we got mobilized to Camp Rucker, Alabama. We, we were uh, put on a manifest as individuals and shipped over as individuals. We, there was probably from the whole infantry division uh, that I shipped over with, uh, I didn't hardly know anybody, but there were people from other divisions serving within the United States that shipped over the same time I did. There was like four or 5,000 troops on the ship when we shipped over. For some of the men, joining the Guard was a way to choose their unit rather than being drafted and placed into service with people they didn't know. He uh, heard the guards were going in and I thought I'd be drafted anyhow, so why not go in with the guards with the people I know? So I signed up after they were alerted. For some of the men, getting orders to Korea came soon after they joined the Minnesota Army National Guard. Uh, about three days after I enlisted. The men of the 47th covered a wide variety of ages. I think I was the youngest one in the guards. I was only 17 and my mother had a sign for me, you know, to go with the guards. The soldiers of the 47th were assigned to other organizations and given missions that fit into their assigned career field. Well, I worked on up to, I worked on a 10-ton wrecker. I got a picture of that one. But that's, uh, that's pretty much what it was, mostly the uh, deuce and a half. Transportation, uh, food supply, uh, service company, we delivered food to the rest of the 136th Regiment, yes. When I shipped over to Korea, I was a grunt for two months. I was a rifleman for two months with 3rd Infantry Division. And the last three months that I was over in Korea, I was the Indigenous Personnel Supervisor which was a supervisor of about 25 to 35 uh, natives of the Korean that were employed by the United States Army. Went in at uh, Pusan, and from there I was in the motor pool for about, oh, maybe a month and a half. And a lieutenant and a sergeant got killed on the front lines as demolition sergeants. They asked for volunteers. And I'm still a volunteer, I'll do it any time I can. But anyway, I was a demolition sergeant then. From that, I went to the front lines. And I spent 11 months on the front lines over there of different companies, clearing bounce and beddies, shoe mines, trip flares, whatever. While the war was on the other side of the world, some things were often there to be reminders of home from time to time. Well, I went to the mess hall one day and I seen the egg case sitting there that said Litchfield Produce, Melrose, Minnesota, that was pretty close to home. Many things stand out in a soldier's mind when they remember a war, but often one is more prevalent than another, and that is going home from it. When I was coming home, uh, I was getting a ride from the company to Tokyo, uh, Seoul. Uh, I get to Seoul and there's a big banner going across the street that says, Welcome, President elect Eisenhower. Uh, I thought that was pretty nice to see, and uh, it also uh, told me I was going back where I was supposed to be. The men of the 47th always had confidence in their unit and their skills. Oh, sir, I said, I, I'm sure, I said, that if we would pack up and go together, everybody would be there to fulfill their job and do a good job.